Hi, I'm Natalie with Missouri Star Quilt Company and today on Embroidery 101, we are going to learn the wagon wheel stitch. This is a fun stitch that makes really beautiful flowers. They look like chrysanthemums and they're just gorgeous. All right, so we are gonna start with a knotted piece of embroidery floss, thread it in your needle. You start on the outside of the point. What we're gonna do is create some spokes for this wagon wheel. Now we have five drawn on here, but I think you can add as many as you like. These are just straight stitches. You want them to be nice and tight. I'm gonna continue going around. Um, and I think I might add a few extra spokes to this wheel, just to give it a little bit more dimension. I'm, I'm always going to the outer edge of the wagon wheel and then coming into the center with my uh, stitches as we go along here. All right, so we are up close right now. I've added some extra spokes. I do wanna note, you're gonna wanna make sure that they're an odd number. So I have nine spokes and not 10. And um, that is because you want your weaving to overlap every other stitch you want them to be going opposites and you need an odd number in order for that to work. So we're gonna put our first, we're gonna start in the middle, putting the needle right through the center and coming up. And then you can go whichever direction is more comfortable for you, whether you're right or left-handed, but you're gonna go over a stitch and under a stitch. And then over and under all the way around. And I've just pulled a little knot. So I'm gonna pull that out. There we go. And then I'm gonna continue going over and under, over and under. So see how you can see, I'll pull these out so you can see how they go over and under. And now that I'm back at the beginning, because I've got an odd number, I'm gonna go under the thread that I went over the first time and over the next threads. So it just continues that weave in an opposite manner as you go around. And you're gonna pull these kinda of tight, but not so tight that they overlap. You want your little circle to be tight enough that it stays in a circle, but not so tight that your threads end up pulling tight on top of the row that you did before, okay? It gets a little bit easier as you go because you start to see the pattern form. Okay, so I have some really cute little projects to show you. Um, there are some cute little wagon wheel flowers on this fun floral piece. This one here is a wagon wheel. It's got a little satin stitch center and this one also. Okay. And then this little hat. Oh my goodness, look at how cute these are. I absolutely love this. They do look like little chrysanthemums. They've got little French knots in the middle. This is just so stinking cute. I love it. If you enjoyed this video, there's lots more where that came from. I have a whole channel called Embroidery 101 where I teach you what you need to know to get started and also give you tons of tips and ideas to refresh your memory and help you to advance in your embroidery journey. So click the link below and I hope you enjoy. Happy stitching.